It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Jets and the Silver and Black, and it's coming up next. Well, even with all the buildings along the Las Vegas Strip and all the action here, this is one of the city's biggest attractions. Allegiant Stadium opened back in 2020. Coming up, we've got a good one here in the AFC as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, it's year four of this wonderful building now and it's going to host the Super Bowl come February. Fans of the Silver and Black certainly hoping their guys will be a part of it. But this is a franchise that hasn't won a playoff game since the 2002 season. But they should be firmly focused on getting back to the playoffs. They have the team that can do that. Defensively, they get after the quarterback. Great pass rush. And now they have a new leader of quarterback, and they expect to put some points on the board. Now, meanwhile, for the Jets, you know, even putting the quarterback situation aside, this is an exciting time for them right now. Yeah, they were just 7-10 last year. I get that. But they're building a roster that's potentially got some future stars involved. They certainly are. Remember, going 7-10, and 10, they were 7-3 and three at one point last season. And they finished the year with the offensive and defensive rookies of the year. So you know that this roster is really on the rise. And off we go from Las Vegas. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by Zach Wilson, former second overall pick, now in his third season out of BYU. And we all know the scouting report on him. He can attack the field at all levels with a very strong arm and make big time plays off schedule. We also see a player with confidence and swagger. We see a guy who knows how to lead a team, who knows how to compete and wants to be great every time he hits the field. They go play action now, Wilson. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play, second down. I think they tried to fool him on that one. You know, being able to throw the ball to the fullback position, no one was fooled on that play. No, lost yardage. You think they should yank that one from the playbook, at least uh, for the time being? I think, I think what you do is you take it out and you evaluate it next week in practice. And he'll take this to about the 24, a gain of three. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Wilson. And able to find out on Lazard. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, three and out to start the game would have been a real disappointment. So this is a nice job of finding something you think will work and executing it. And they're able to keep this opening drive going. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Second and seven. Here's Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Wilson. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Third down and one. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And Cook was fighting for it, but I don't think he got there. A loss 
loss of a yard, and it brings up Ford. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. DeAndre Carter back deep. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. So the Raiders backed up here to begin their first drive. And bringing them out is the pocket passer from Purdue, rookie Aiden O'Connell. Tell you what, partner, he might just be a rookie, but he certainly looks the part of a veteran NFL starter, and he carries himself like one leading the offense out there. In a lot of ways, he has advanced as a first-year quarterback, and he came in and was right at home with this offense. Now the NFL's leading rusher a season ago, Josh Jacobs. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. Throwing, O'Connell. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. You think about the great receivers in the game, what do they have in common? The ability to create separation in their routes. Whether it's a head fake, a sharp cut, selling a different route, the subtle bump, it's a tough skill to teach. And this is well done here to get open and pick up the first down. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. Second down and six now. Now it's O'Connell. And his throw here is incomplete. Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver, but now it'll be third down. the play fake O'Connell that is caught and he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion but from their point of view this game could not be starting out much better could it for some punt on defense and now they're moving it crisply on offense crisply I like that like yeah that? yeah moving it very very well looks like the defense on their heels a little bit you put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish him off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second and seven. Back to throw, O'Connell. His throw incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make a ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Here's O'Connell. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 39. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. But give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has. And if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, but we don't call him rookie anymore. We're moving right to veteran and continue from there. 
And that's good for a gain of six. And that'll bring up second down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. So nothing doing there. And now we've got a third and four. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily, you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. Fakes the handoff, now O'Connell to throw. And he's gonna go down. They get to him back at the 40. Quentin Jefferson with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. Uh, partner, you know what I'm gonna say before I even say it. Yeah, you just cannot take a sack in that spot. You're exactly right. You can't take a sack in that spot. Potentially now, a three point swing right there. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. This one will sail out of bounds. It will depend on the spot here. And the side judge says that went out at the seven-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. They'll start on the ground. Hall. And he's only able to work this from the 8 to the 10 for a pickup of 2. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Now some movement before the snap, and we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. second down and that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here second down and long now Wilson down around his goal line there's a short one caught by Uzama it'll go as a gain of four and third and eight now And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Well, we, we thought these two defenses, they might come to play. One has already come to play here. A safety for the opening points of the game. Brandon, let's pile this play away because if it turns out to be a tight game, who knows? This could wind up being the difference. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. Here comes Carter. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this.
Play action. Now Connell. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Oh, I like that play call there. After a run for good yards, you get a defense thinking they'll go back to the well. So that's a great time to call play action and give your receivers a little extra edge. And they complete the pass there for another first down. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Will McDonald gets in there to take him down. And they tried to go with a little play action there, but nobody on the defensive side bit. Yeah, they adjusted in time and in a big way and ultimately got the sack on offense. Sometimes you're running play action just to set up a certain blocking technique. In this case, none of it worked. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. That's going to bring up fourth down. Only a gain of two there. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. And this one is no good. He missed it. And that will keep this a two-point game. And the Jets set to take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Now Hall to start the drive. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second down and four. Here's Wilson. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now Wilson. Over the middle, complete. That's Wilson. And he is going to have a Jets first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Well, this might very well have been four down territory, but that's not going to matter now. They get a nice throw there on third down, and they're able to keep the drive going. First down, here's the run with Cook. He'll get this down to the 38. for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter. From the 38 now, here's second and six. As they've got it as we resume action. Now Wilson on second down. That's complete to Lazard. So just three yards on the completion there. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. 
take it. They'll run with Hall. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Well, that's how you convert on third down. Not only do they pick up the first, but they got a lot of extra yardage with it. And I saw a defense that was absolutely out of sync. They didn't expect that play call at all. And it allowed the offense to actually get great blocking angles against them and allowed the back to just rumble and rumble and rumble. And as you said, tacked on big yardage at the end. Flush to his right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. To throw is Wilson. And he's got it. Touchdown! The two Wilson, Zach and Garrett teaming up there. And the Jets have taken the lead. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And it's now a 7-2 ball game. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. DeAndre Carter returning it. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Yeah, get a little closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. A nice-looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. And they go play action here with O'Connell. Rush coming, and he's taken down. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. Throwing on second and long. O'Connell. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. Third and long, O'Connell now. Looking deep for Adams. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. Yeah. 
New York's offense back out there and set to go. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. He'll give it to Hall to start the drive. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. On second down, Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wilson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Wilson to Wilson there. Zach to Garrett for a jet first down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Wilson. incomplete just his second incompletion so far he's eight for ten i think he'll take 80 percent there's no doubt that he will but if you're the defensive play caller you better circle what you just dialed up on your play sheet and come back to it because he just caused an incompletion you need a few more of those second and ten now it's wilson and his throw is going to be incomplete Garrett Wilson, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. On the return, Carter. It's a 45-yard punt, then eight on the return. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. The Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. It's Jacobs to start the drive. He stiff arms him, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10 to throw here. O'Connell. That's caught by Myers, and he's brought down. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. It's Myers again with another catch. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. And 
O'Connell now to throw. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. The Raiders on third down, two for five to this point. This will be a tough third and 18. Throwing, O'Connell. He'll let this go for Adams. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by D.J. Reed. And the Jets are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach in the sideline is going to talk to a single caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. And New York set to take the field. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at the 20. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. This is Cobb with a catch right side. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 24-yard line. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Here's Wilson to throw. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Throwing is Wilson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Max Crosby blowing up the play and getting the sack. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Here's Thomas Morstead now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 39 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Raiders will have a short field to work with as they take over. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. 43 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. From the 41, here's second and two. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know he stays what we call clean and no one gets to him. The guy playing the middle linebacker position, the guy we call Mike, that means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. On third and one, O'Connell, and he is caught, and he is going to have the Raiders first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. 
Well, they've certainly gotten him involved in this first half, and on third down, they looked his way again. And what a delight for his quarterback to find him and keep the drive moving. First down throw, O'Connell. Caught on the right side by Adams. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. And his throw is incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Now a second and 10. Now it's O'Connell. Very quick throw, he's got Myers. And the Raiders are gonna be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six yard line. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed, it has to be quicker, and you've gotta deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Sticking to the air with O'Connell here. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here, slow to get up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. So they're coming up here on the ninth play of the drive, and it's third and goal. A first throw here for the backup Garoppolo. Touchdown, Raiders! Jacoby Myers from six yards away. And the Raiders are able to move back in front. for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. So he missed his lone field goal try, but he's got this one as that extends their lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was all capped off by Jacoby Myers on the touchdown reception. out past the 20 to the 24. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. On 
On first down, Wilson. And the Raiders have got him. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Now it's Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack up first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Straight ahead is Hall. And he'll get across the 20, but only to about the 22-yard line. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Now the veteran Thomas Morstead on to punt it away. Take it at the 37. A 39-yard punt, a return of five. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Here comes the offense again. And let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Garoppolo to throw on second down. That one into the hands of Adams downfield. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Jimmy Garoppolo with his second touchdown pass of this first half. And the Raiders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Carlson on for the PAT. And that makes it a nine-point game. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And the Jets going to go on offense one last time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Just 25 seconds to go in the half now as they've got it first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half.
Now second and three. Now Wilson. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. There's Wilson. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we have reached halftime here in Vegas with the Raiders on top. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. In that first half, it was Jimmy Garoppolo who had the offense moving. He came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. All right, coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. Here's Carter now on the return. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Raiders have the ball back, and here comes Devontae Adams to the field again. And I know that they double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. On the ground, Jacobs will get the third quarter started. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. 56 yards rushing for him now to this point. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. I don't care what anyone says. I want a big time back in in this kind of yardage each and every time I step on the field. A tone setter, these guys are hard to find. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They will run the draw with Jacobs. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. Looking deep for Adams. 
And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. I've got a good friend in football always talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Vegas. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So here's the Jets' offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Pass complete. He's got Lazard on the out route. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. From the gun, it's Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Hall. Shy of the red zone here at the 22 yard line. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 41 yards. Uh, that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying, our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. A give running right is home. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge gain last play. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Now a dump off here complete. Call it a gain of six on the play. And third and eight now. Wilson. time to throw the football I think ultimately he has to be a lot more decisive in his decision making and get rid of it and find an open target Zerline's kick is up and through and the deficit trim to six now at 16 10 so three points maybe not a grand prize at this stage but it does get him back within one score it certainly does because now they stay within shouting distance so that means everyone on your sideline stays engaged in this game. They know they still have a shot. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off.
And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 23. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense. Picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Here's a second and five. Tackle made up near the 35. It's a pickup of six. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Quinnen Williams picks up his second sack of the afternoon. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That O-line, they got to protect him. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. It's been a struggle for him accruing yards in this game, passing the football. So there he said, hey, I'm going to try to chuck it deep, but another incompletion. Has to be a little bit frustrating because of what you just described. It's been a struggle for him here in the second half, hoping for one big shot to get him out of the doldrums. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. two-yard punt six on the return and the Jets will take over the New York set to take the field and last time able to get three it's not what they wanted they wanted six but they got at least something they mustered something out of the drive they'll take it just I, I like the way you've described it not ideal but they'll take it anything to put some points on the board but this time on offense they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Now Wilson on first down. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be getting rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Now it's Wilson. That's complete to Cobb. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. Now second and five. To throw is Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. 
so many offense want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out and check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Wilson. And a throw there going to be incomplete. off the field they're going on fourth and five they'll try and throw for it with Wilson that's to his running back complete and now this is going to be close the defense says they stopped him and they did the Jets try it but the fourth down play doesn't work and the Raider D they get the football back Everyone gears up for third down, talks about the importance of it. But fourth down, that's truly the moment of truth play, isn't it? Everything's dialed up a little bit more. And, it, you know, it's such a momentum play, isn't it? Absolutely, because it can flip either way, depending on who converts on fourth down. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at the 40. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. To throw, it's Garoppolo. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jacobs. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. His throw incomplete. Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. On play action, now Garoppolo. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. So the pass goes out of bounds, but he was not outside of the tackle box when he threw that. He's got to be careful. You and I both know if it's even close, they're going to give it to the quarterback. They don't want to throw that flag unnecessarily. So if you're just in the area, you're going to be okay. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Quentin Jefferson able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Las Vegas. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Jets' offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. On first and 10, it's Hall. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. 50 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Second down and three. On 
on second down to run with Hall. And down he'll go at the 25. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. In motion left is Cobb. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Robert Spillane, the linebacker there on the tackle. Robert Spillane on the tackle. A gain of four. It's now second and six at the 30-yard line. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second down and six. Throwing is Wilson. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Here's Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Cobb. So the completion good for six yards. And it's second down. Back to the ground with Hall. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 43. Now it's Wilson. In trouble, and he's taken down. Max Crosby getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. On second down, Cook. Five yards gets him back near the original line of scrimmage as he'll be left with a third and long. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. The offense on third down, they've had a lot of chances but not much success, converting only three times. This is third and 11. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And it'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. He got out of bounds. That's a good thing, but still short of the first. And now, since this brings up fourth down, the defensive play call, grab your nerves because now you don't want to be so amped up that you give them a first down by getting out of your lanes, but you also don't want to just lay back and let them have it easily. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Garoppolo. You swing that out wide to Jacobs. Stop shy of the 45. Showed off a nice little move on the play, though. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Garoppolo looks to throw. Same target, it's Jacobs again. 
And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Brandon, a lot of times you'll see running backs rotate in and out of the game, whether it's a completed pass, a good run, it doesn't matter. Here, not only does he stay in, but they go right back to it, and he makes another nice play. Back-to-back -back catches. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. A quick throw there is incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Here's second and 10. O'Connell looking to throw yet again. Caught on the right side by Adams. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 31-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Out of the shotgun, here's O'Connell. Renfro bringing it in over the middle. So from the 26-yard line, here's second down and five. Off the play fake, here's O'Connell. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there, a 22. All right, say it with me now. A lot of different words we come up with. Maybe we go back and forth after that play, getting his toes tapped down to make that catch. Crafty? Yep. Wiley? Oh, definitely. All the veteran names? You name it. Has every move in the book and continued to get better throughout his career so he can make that type of a catch. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. This is caught. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. This Jet defense so far standing tall. They need another stop now, third and goal. Jacobs, and he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. It's interesting where we are in the game now. The analytics folks, they might tell you to kick the field goal and make it a two-score game. But you have to wonder if emotionally they're thinking, let's go for the touchdown and try and slam the door. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to make it a two-score game. And it's a fake. He's going to throw it, and he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Jets are going to get the football back. Now the Jets offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. Robert Spillane, ex of the Steelers, is there on the stop. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, nada there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. On second down, Wilson. 
Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. And Garrett Wilson, the one he was looking for, and it's third down. catching up and here's Morstead now as he sends this one away taking on the midfield logo they call that a punt of 38 yards officially and this offense they're going to have excellent field position they take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field Jacobs on first and 10. He's got it to the 43 here. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball and continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Back to throw, O'Connell. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Now it's O'Connell. Hitting Mayer here on the out route. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. on first down O'Connell and his throw is going to be incomplete Austin Hooper the intended receiver that'll bring up second down Running straight ahead is Jacobs, able to power through. And they move this all the way down to the nine. He was trying to clear the way, the big fullback, instead he gets a hole. And you don't see that very often on running plays from those guys, because usually they're the lead blocker. Normally when he gets caught, it's in a passing situation. Play action. Now O'Connell. And incomplete on the deep ball. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To the air again with O'Connell. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one. Not to have another turnover on his ledger. Carlson able to put this one through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. 
So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. After the main field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And now out come the Jets. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 26. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. This is Lazard with a catch out left. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. And here down two scores, you've still got some time, but you've got to start thinking about preserving the clock when you can. And that's a nice job to secure the football, pick up the first down, and get out of bounds. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And Lazard's got it again. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11, first down. Just more of the same here. That's back-to-back -back catches for him to start the drive. They've looked his way quite a bit and with good reason as this duo picks up yet another first down. On first and 10, it's Wilson. That's complete right side to Lazard. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 38-yard line. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And that one behind his receiver and incomplete. Trying to find Brees Hall out of the backfield, and it's third and short. To throw is Wilson. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, it didn't look his way at all in the first half, and I'll bet you the offense coordinator made a note at the half and said, let's get him involved because he could be a big-time playmaker for us. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And that'll move him back within six now. These kickers now it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right. right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago. So they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. 
Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Here's third and nine. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop them here. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Here's A.J. Cole now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So here is Wilson and the Jets down by six. A minute 51 on the clock. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Throwing now is Wilson. It's complete, Lazard. Second down, eight yards to go. Here's Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. Well, these corners, I tell you, they've done excellent work all game long. They remind me of guys in the past who just said, hey, throw it out here 100 times. Nothing good is going to happen. And if you throw it in the wrong place, I'll take it the other way. Well, the black hole and everyone in Vegas on their feet. Here's third down now. That's complete to Lazard. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. Here we go. This is fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining and the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. They won it offensively. Your challenge, should you choose to accept it, <laughs> take care of the football and run out the clock. They can't just go and turtle as we like to call it, just tuck in and just sit on the ball here. Try and get that first down and finish the game off. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A handoff, Jacobs running to the left. And able to get this to the 31. The Jets gonna go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. It's 
third and three. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he's going to have a Raider first down. And that should be the one that finishes the script here. It's a gain of six, and that ought to just about do it. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. 